Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about adrenal gland function. So let's start off by talking about where the adrenal glands are located. Here are the kidneys and they're situated in the abdomen. This is the left side and the right side. And notice the left is a little higher than the right. Now on the left kidney and the right kidney are these two little hats and they're called the adrenal glands. Now let's have a look at the structure of an adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is made up of three layers of cortex and then an inner medullary layer. The most outer layer is the zona glomerulosa. The next layer is the zona fasciculata. The third layer is the zona reticularis. And then the adrenal medulla is situated in the center. These three layers make up the adrenal cortex. Now I want to have a closer look at a section through the adrenal gland. So here are those four layers. I'll just label them G, F, R, and M. Now they each produce different hormones. Now the zona glomerulosa produces aldosterone. The fasciculata produces cortisol. The reticularis produces sex steroids. And the medulla produces epinephrine and norepinephrine, or adrenaline and noradrenaline. That's the same thing. Now, epinephrine and norepinephrine are signals of a fight or flight response. The sex steroids are important for reproduction. Cortisol is a stress signal. And aldosterone is important in water retention. Now let's have a look at their control. The medullary release is controlled very simply by sympathetic activation. So it's controlled neurally. The rest are controlled hormonally. ACTH, or adrenocorticotropic hormone, releases cortisol from the fasciculata, but it also has a minor effect on the reticularis in releasing sex steroids. ACTH is released from the pituitary. Angiotensin II causes the release of aldosterone and it's part of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone pathway. And that's an overview of adrenal gland function. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.